The hardest part of getting older isn't always what you might expect. Sure, there are physical changes, but it's the emotional and psychological challenges that often catch us off guard. As we age, our perception of time shifts, and we start to question our identity in ways we never imagined. These feelings aren't exclusive to seniors. People of all ages grapple with the concept of aging and its impact on their lives. In this video, we'll explore the various facets of getting older that many find challenging. From facing our own mortality to navigating changing relationships, we'll delve into the complex emotions that come with the passing years. But don't worry, this isn't a gloomy tale. Instead, it's a journey of understanding and growth that we all share. Are you ready to explore the uncharted territories of aging? As we grow older, the passage of time becomes more apparent, and with it comes a heightened awareness of our own mortality. This realization can be both sobering and motivating, pushing us to reevaluate our priorities and make the most of the time we have left. Have you ever found yourself counting the years wondering how many more summers you'll see or holidays you'll celebrate. You're not alone. Many people experience a sense of urgency as they age, feeling compelled to achieve their dreams before it's too late. It's common to hear stories of individuals who have postponed their adventures for decades, citing family responsibilities and financial concerns. The refrain, I kept telling myself there would be time later, is all too familiar. But suddenly people find themselves in their 60s or 70s realizing that later is now. This situation isn't unique. Countless individuals find themselves grappling with the realization that time is finite. But here's the thing. It's never too late to pursue your passions. In fact, many people find that their later years provide the perfect opportunity to chase dreams they've long held dear. Consider asking yourself, what dreams have I put on hold? What would I regret not doing if I had the chance? These questions can be powerful catalysts for change, spurring you to take action and make the most of your remaining years. Of course, facing our mortality isn't just about ticking items off a bucket list. It's also about coming to terms with the natural cycle of life. This acceptance can be challenging, but it can also bring a sense of peace and appreciation for the present moment. Have you ever noticed how the little things in life become more meaningful as you age? As we confront the reality of time and mortality, it's crucial to remember that aging is a privilege denied to many. Instead of viewing it as a countdown, we can choose to see it as an opportunity to live more fully, love more deeply, and leave a lasting impact on the world around us. The loss of physical vigor and the fear of mental decline are common challenges that come with aging. Many people find themselves struggling to accept the changes in their bodies and minds, longing for the strength and sharpness of their younger years. But is this decline as inevitable and overwhelming as we often fear? Physical changes are often the most noticeable aspects of aging. You might find yourself unable to run as fast, lift as much, or stay up as late as you once could. It's not uncommon to hear people express frustration about how activities they once took for granted now leave them winded or exhausted. This shift can be a blow to our self-esteem and sense of identity. But here's the key. Adapting doesn't mean giving up. How can you modify your favorite activities to suit your changing abilities? The goal isn't to be as you were in your youth, but to be the best version of yourself at every age. Mental decline is another significant concern. The fear of losing one's memory or cognitive abilities can be paralyzing. But did you know that not all cognitive changes are negative? While processing speed may slow down, older adults often show improved vocabulary, emotional regulation, and problem-solving skills based on life experience. The key to dealing with physical and mental changes lies in adaptation and prevention. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and mental stimulation can go a long way in maintaining your health. Have you considered taking up new physical activities that are gentler on your body? What about challenging your mind with puzzles, learning a new language or picking up a musical instrument? Remember, aging doesn't mean you stop growing or learning. It's about finding new ways to engage with life and maintain your well-being. The journey of aging is unique for everyone and it's important to focus on what you can do rather than what you can't. How can you reframe your perspective on these changes 
to see them as opportunities for new experiences and growth. As we age, our social circles often shrink. Friends move away, retire to different locations or pass on. Family members may be busy with their own lives. This shift can lead to feelings of loneliness and isolation, which have only been exacerbated by recent global events. How do we combat these feelings and maintain meaningful connections in our later years? The impact of loneliness on health and well-being cannot be overstated. Studies have shown that chronic loneliness can be as harmful to our health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. It increases the risk of depression, anxiety, and cognitive decline. But knowing the risks is one thing. Addressing the issue is another. Many older adults find themselves increasingly isolated, especially after significant life changes like retirement or the loss of a spouse. Days can go by with minimal human interaction, leading to a sense of disconnection from the world around them. This isolation can be particularly challenging for those who were once surrounded by colleagues, friends and family on a daily basis. So, what can be done? The solution often lies in proactively seeking out new connections and nurturing existing ones. Have you considered joining a community group or volunteering for a cause you care about? These activities not only provide social interaction, but also give a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Technology can also play a crucial role in combating isolation. Video calls, social media and online communities can help bridge the gap when physical meetings aren't possible. But it's important to use these tools as a supplement to, not a replacement for in-person interactions. Intergenerational connections can be particularly rewarding. Spending time with younger people can bring fresh perspectives and energy into your life. Have you thought about mentoring or tutoring? Your lifetime of experience could be invaluable to someone just starting their journey. Remember, it's never too late to form new friendships or deepen existing relationships. The key is to take that first step, even when it feels daunting. Reach out to an old friend, introduce yourself to a neighbor, or join a class that interests you. Every small interaction can lead to meaningful connections and a richer, more fulfilling life. Looking back on life, it's natural to reflect on the paths not taken and the dreams left unfulfilled. These reflections can bring a sense of regret, but they can also serve as powerful motivators for change and growth in our later years. What dreams have you put on hold? Is it truly too late to pursue them? Many people find themselves grappling with what-ifs as they age. It's common to hear stories of individuals who always wanted to learn a new skill, travel to a certain place or pursue a particular career path, but never found the time or courage to do so. These unfulfilled dreams can weigh heavily on one's mind, leading to feelings of regret and missed opportunities. However, it's crucial to remember that regrets and unfulfilled dreams don't define us. Instead, they can serve as catalysts for personal growth and new adventures. Have you considered creating a living life list instead of a bucket list? This approach focuses on experiences and growth rather than just ticking off accomplishments. It's never too late to start something new. Many people find that retirement or their later years provide the perfect opportunity to pursue long-held dreams. Whether it's learning to play an instrument, writing a book or starting a small business, the joy of finally engaging with these passions can be immensely fulfilling. Regrets about career choices are also prevalent. How many times have you heard someone say, I wish I had pursued my passion instead of playing it safe? While we can't change the past, we can use these reflections to inform our present and future choices. Could your unfulfilled career dreams translate into a fulfilling hobby or volunteer opportunity now? Sometimes, our biggest regrets aren't about what we didn't do, but about relationships we neglected or words left unsaid. Is there someone you've been meaning to reconnect with or something you've been wanting to express? It's never too late to mend fences or show appreciation to those who have impacted your life. Embracing life's journey, including the detours and missed exits, is part of the wisdom that comes with age. How can you use your regrets as stepping stones to a more fulfilling present and future? Remember, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. What seeds will you plant today? The joy of seeing your family grow can be one of life's greatest pleasures. However, as we age, 
we often find ourselves in the role of caregiver for adult children or grandchildren, which can bring both rewards and challenges. How do we navigate this complex terrain while maintaining our own well-being? Many grandparents find themselves providing childcare for their grandchildren, a role that can be both delightful and exhausting. It's not uncommon to hear older adults express how much they love spending time with their grandkids, while also admitting that some days they feel like they need a nap more than the children do. This sentiment resonates with many who find themselves balancing their desire to help with their own need for rest and relaxation. The sandwich generation, those caring for both aging parents and adult children or grandchildren, face unique challenges. They often feel pulled in multiple directions trying to meet everyone's needs while neglecting their own. Have you found yourself in this situation? How do you prioritize your own health and well-being while supporting your loved ones? It's crucial to set boundaries and communicate openly with family members about what you can and cannot do. Remember, saying no doesn't make you a bad parent or grandparent. It makes you a human being with valid needs and limitations. Financial support for adult children can also be a concern for many older adults. While the desire to help is natural, it's important to ensure that your own financial security isn't compromised. Have you had open discussions with your family about financial expectations and limitations? Despite the challenges, caring for family can also bring immense joy and a sense of purpose. The key is finding a balance that allows you to enjoy your role without becoming overwhelmed. Can you think of ways to make caregiving more manageable and enjoyable for everyone involved? Remember, taking care of yourself isn't selfish, it's necessary. By maintaining your own health and well-being, you're better equipped to support and enjoy your family. How can you create a balance that allows you to be there for your loved ones, while also honoring your own needs and desires? As careers wind down and children grow up, many older adults find themselves grappling with a sense of lost purpose. The roles that once defined us, professional, parent, caregiver, may no longer occupy center stage in our lives. So, how do we rediscover meaning and purpose in our later years? This transition can be challenging, but it also presents an incredible opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Many retirees initially struggle with the loss of their professional identity, feeling lost without the structure and purpose their job provided. However, this phase of life offers a chance to explore interests that may have been neglected for years due to work and family commitments. Volunteering can be an excellent way to find purpose and give back to the community. Organizations are often in need of the wisdom and experience that older adults bring to the table. Have you considered mentoring young professionals in your field or tutoring students? Your lifetime of knowledge could make a significant impact on someone else's journey. Pursuing education is another path to purpose. Many universities offer programs for older adults, allowing you to dive into subjects you've always been curious about. Learning not only keeps our minds sharp, but also opens up new worlds of possibility. What subject have you always wanted to study but never had the time for? Some find purpose in creative pursuits. Writing memoirs, painting, photography or crafting can be deeply fulfilling ways to express yourself and leave a legacy. These activities not only provide personal satisfaction, but can also connect you with like-minded individuals, fostering new friendships and social connections. Others discover purpose in advocacy or community involvement. Whether it's fighting for a cause you believe in or working to improve your local community, these activities can provide a strong sense of meaning and accomplishment. Remember, purpose doesn't have to be grand or world-changing. It can be found in small daily acts of kindness, in nurturing relationships or in pursuing personal growth. The key is to stay engaged with life, to keep learning, and to continue contributing in ways that feel meaningful to you. What will your next chapter look like? How will you use your wealth of experience and newfound freedom to create a life filled with purpose and joy? The possibilities are as diverse as the individuals exploring them. As we age, our identities often undergo significant shifts. The roles we once held, career titles, family positions, social statuses, may change or disappear entirely. This transition can leave us feeling adrift, questioning who we are without these familiar anchors. How do we navigate these identity shifts and emerge with a strong sense of self? Many people struggle with this transition, 
especially upon retirement. After decades of identifying strongly with a professional role, the sudden absence of that identity can be disorienting. It's not uncommon to hear retirees express feelings of loss or uncertainty about their place in the world once their career comes to an end. The key to navigating these shifts lies in recognizing that our core identity isn't tied to our roles or titles, but to our values, experiences and personal growth. This period of life offers a unique opportunity to rediscover and redefine ourselves based on who we are, not what we do. One approach is to explore new interests and hobbies. Have you always wanted to learn a new language or try your hand at painting? Now might be the perfect time. These new pursuits can help shape a fresh identity based on personal passions rather than professional or family roles. Volunteering or mentoring can also provide a sense of purpose and identity. Sharing your knowledge and experience with others not only benefits them, but can also reinforce your own sense of value and expertise. What skills or wisdom could you pass on to the next generation? It's also important to maintain and nurture relationships during this transition. Friends and family can provide support and help reinforce your sense of self beyond your former roles. Have you considered joining clubs or groups aligned with your interests? These can be great places to form new connections and solidify your evolving identity. Remember, identity shifts are a natural part of the aging process. Instead of resisting these changes, how can you embrace them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery? This is your chance to redefine yourself on your own terms. What aspects of your identity do you want to cultivate or strengthen in this new phase of life? In today's fast-paced world, technological advancements and social changes occur at breakneck speed. For many older adults, this rapid evolution can lead to feelings of being left behind or out of touch. How can we stay relevant and connected in a world that seems to change overnight? It's not uncommon to hear older adults express frustration about keeping up with technology. Many who were once confident in their tech skills find themselves struggling to understand the latest devices or social media platforms. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy or disconnection, especially when trying to communicate with younger generations. However, staying relevant isn't about knowing every new trend or mastering every new technology. It's about maintaining a curious and open mindset. Are you willing to learn and adapt? That's the first step towards staying connected with the changing world around you. One approach is to embrace lifelong learning. Many community centers and libraries offer classes on everything from smartphone basics to social media. Online platforms also provide courses on a wide range of topics. Have you considered taking a class to update your skills or explore a new area of interest? Intergenerational connections can be invaluable in staying current. Engaging with younger family members or participating in mentorship programs can expose you to new perspectives and technologies. Could you arrange a tech exchange with a younger relative where you share your wisdom and they help you navigate new devices or apps? It's also important to recognize the value of your life experience. While the world may be changing rapidly, human nature and many fundamental principles remain the same. Your wisdom and perspective are invaluable, even in and perhaps especially in a fast-changing world. Remember, relevance isn't about being on top of every trend. It's about remaining engaged, continuing to learn, and sharing your unique perspective with the world. How can you leverage your life experience to contribute meaningfully to conversations about current issues? What timeless wisdom can you offer in a world of constant change? As we age, our relationships inevitably evolve. Friendships may drift apart, family dynamics shift, and we might find ourselves navigating new types of connections. These changes can be unsettling, but they also offer opportunities for growth and new experiences. How can we adapt to these relationship shifts while maintaining a sense of connection and belonging? Many older adults find themselves facing unexpected changes in their social circles. Long-standing friendships may fade as life circumstances change, or the loss of a spouse can dramatically alter one's social landscape. It's not uncommon to hear stories of individuals feeling isolated after retirement, realizing that many of their social connections were tied to their professional life. Adapting to these changes requires both resilience and proactivity.
One effective approach is to actively seek out new connections based on current interests and circumstances. Joining clubs, attending community events or volunteering can open doors to new friendships with like-minded individuals. Family relationships often undergo significant transformations as well. Adult children may move away, grandchildren grow up, and roles within the family unit can shift. These changes can be both challenging and rewarding. It's crucial to maintain open communication with family members, expressing your needs and desires while also being receptive to theirs. Technology has become an increasingly important tool for maintaining and building relationships. While it may feel daunting at first, embracing digital communication methods can help bridge geographical gaps and keep you connected with loved ones. Have you explored video calling or social media as ways to stay in touch? It's also important to acknowledge that some relationships may naturally come to an end. While this can be painful, it's a normal part of life's journey. Focusing on nurturing the relationships that bring joy and support to your life can be more fulfilling than trying to maintain connections that no longer serve you. Ultimately, the key to navigating changing relationships lies in staying open to new connections while nurturing existing ones. How can you cultivate a support network that aligns with your current lifestyle and values? What steps can you take to deepen the relationships that matter most to you? Retirement marks a significant life transition, bringing both freedom and challenges. The shift from a structured work life to an open schedule, coupled with changes in financial circumstances, can be overwhelming for many. How can we navigate this new phase of life with confidence and security? The loss of a daily work routine can leave many retirees feeling adrift. Without the structure of a job, some find themselves struggling to fill their days meaningfully. It's not uncommon to hear newly retired individuals express feelings of boredom or a lack of purpose. Creating a new routine can be crucial in addressing this challenge. This might involve setting regular times for hobbies, exercise, socializing, or volunteering. Have you considered what activities you'd like to incorporate into your daily or weekly schedule? Financial adjustments are another significant aspect of retirement. Transitioning from a steady paycheck to a fixed income can be stressful, especially with concerns about healthcare costs and longevity. Many retirees find themselves needing to reassess their budgets and financial strategies. Education can be a powerful tool in managing these financial changes. Taking courses on retirement finance or consulting with a financial advisor can help you make informed decisions about your resources. What steps can you take to ensure your financial stability throughout your retirement years? For some, retirement doesn't mean a complete cessation of work. Many find fulfillment in part-time jobs, consulting roles, or turning hobbies into small businesses. These pursuits can provide both additional income and a sense of purpose. Have you considered how you might apply your skills and experience in new ways during retirement? Embracing retirement as a new adventure rather than an ending can shift your perspective. This is an opportunity to explore interests you may have put aside during your working years, to deepen relationships and to contribute to your community in new ways. How can you view retirement as a beginning rather than an end? What dreams or goals would you like to pursue in this new chapter of your life? Aging brings a unique set of challenges, from facing our mortality to navigating changing relationships and identities. Yet it also offers unprecedented opportunities for growth, self-discovery and meaningful experiences. The key lies in our approach to these changes. By maintaining a curious and open mindset, we can transform the challenges of aging into stepping stones for personal development. Whether it's exploring new hobbies, nurturing relationships, or finding innovative ways to contribute to our communities, the possibilities are endless. It's crucial to acknowledge that everyone's journey through aging is unique. What works for one person may not work for another. The beauty of this stage of life is the freedom to define it on your own terms. As we navigate the complexities of getting older, let's focus on the richness of experience that comes with age. Our accumulated wisdom, resilience and perspective are invaluable assets, not just to ourselves but to society as a whole. So, as you face the hardest parts of getting older, ask yourself, 
How can I use this challenge as an opportunity for growth? What new adventures await me in this chapter of life? The answers may surprise and inspire you.